to my hobby. <laughs> Reasons I love you. I know that you might have already known this was coming. I love you so much and I'd give anything to see you happy. You bring me the most joy in my life and on this day, I hope that you feel just as loved as you make me feel every day. I am committed to this marriage and promise to carry promise to carry through on all my vows forever yours baby snicker oh. <laughs> this girl this <laughs> this girl she got me to watch I want. travel. I love experiencing life with you. Four, our minds are two sides of the same coin. We finish each other's sentences. Five, because you make me better, you force me to grow and mature and be a great man. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for being my wife. Love you forever. Father, 
we humbly come to you today, thanking you for this day. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for Vivian and Helene. We thank you for their love, and ask that you be with them today as they take their vows before all of us as witnesses. May they be forever committed to each other and to you. May they keep you first always and seek you first in everything that they do. May their lives together give you all the glory. Bless everyone here today, Lord, as we partake in this joyous occasion. This I pray in your name. Amen. Amen. The scripture reading is taken from 1 Corinthians 13, reading from verses 4 through 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. But where there is prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But with completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put away my childish things. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Hearing the reading of the gospel. Amen. Sister Salmon. A wedding is a celebration of the miracle of love. And today in the presence of God and man, we celebrate this miracle in your lives. Helene and Vivian. Loved ones, at this time, Helene and Vivian will exchange their own personal heartfelt vows to one another. And um, they came up with who's going to go first by a very strategic uh, plan of uh, <laughs> rock, scissor, rock, paper, rock, scissors. scissors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Helene, from the moment that we met, we were inseparable. As many of our friends up here can attest to the fact that we were stuck together like glue. I'll never forget the first time that we danced together. It was like everyone in the room disappeared. I knew I had a thing for you but I had no idea what we'd become. You have filled the place of so many things in my life that I didn't even know I needed. A hug, a voice of reason, a kiss, a laugh, and a moment of peacefulness all wrapped up into one person. I could sit and listen to you talk about airplanes all day. <laughs> your mind is your greatest asset, and it's what keeps me drawn to you every single day. You are the most thoughtful and caring man I've ever met. The way you spring into action at the slightest look of discomfort on my face is well comforting. As your wife, I promise to love you with all of my heart. I promise to speak positivity, confidence, and kingly words over you every night. Nothing less. Where you lack, I pick up. 
and where I fall short, you rise. I love you not only for what you are, or for what I am when I am with you. I love you not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are making of me. Like I always tell you, we're a team. And I can't wait for Jordan, <laughs> Riley, Aria, and Nova. A lifetime with you could never be enough. You are my rock, you are my best friend, and I know for certain that there is no one else I would rather take this ride called life with. I promise this all to you until I am no more. On May 20th, 2016, was the day my life would change. The day I would finally get something I wanted for years. My college degree. <laughs> I thought that's all I would get that day, but God had other plans. I was also given something I needed, true love, in human form. You guys may know her as Vivian. Since that day, we've been inseparable. Our love and relationship has grown easily, but meaningfully. It started with midnight drives to 7-Eleven for slushies and long talks in a parked car. We didn't just date. We shared experiences together. Food festivals, unique restaurants, concerts, carnivals, and circles away. I would go on, but our guests are here to see me dance, not talk. <laughs> You're the most important person in the world to me. My best friend. You're the person I want to experience life with, who I want to share my life with. You're my greatest inspiration. I am a better man, father, person, because you are in my life. So Vivian, from this day forward, I promise to nourish you. I promise to hold you. to build a home and raise a family with you. I promise that I will work diligently every day for the rest of my life to be a better husband than I was the day before. I promise to love you. I promise to work on that love every day. I promise to be yours fully, truthfully, faithfully, and forever. To you, Helene, say Vivian to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish, and to uphold her, for as long as you both shall live, as so then say I do. I do. To you, Vivian, say Helene to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish, and to uphold him, for as long as you both shall live, if so, then say I do. I do. Okay. Well, that was the hard part. <laughs> there will be a change in your rings. May we have the rings, please. Um, These rings are symbolic of the unbroken circle of love, love freely given has no beginning and no end. Today you have chosen to exchange rings as a sign and seal of the promises you make this day. We ask that God bless these rings and union of souls now and forevermore. Helene, as you place this precious ring on Vivian's finger, you're going to say, with this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I the wed. Vivian, as you place this handsome ring on Helene's finger, you're going to say, with this ring, I the wed. With this ring, I the wed. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the pronouncement. Helene and Vivian, you can sit together in matrimony before God and those of us gathered here today. You have pledged your vows to one another. You have exchanged rings as a sign and seal of the commitment you make this day. 
Now therefore, with God's authority and with great joy and in accordance with the state laws of New Jersey, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Elaine Hector. Woo!